Gamers, today we are going to do something new. A tier list, but it's not a tier list. It's an alignment chart. Let me explain. If you've never seen this one before, that's why Professor Cutie is here. So, what I'm going to do now is place the sieve in corresponding things, positions, to what I think, right? Not This is not a definitive, scientific, proven 100%. This is in my opinion, all right? With that being said, let me explain how this is gonna work. So if I put a sieve here, that means it's like, this is the easy, right? So if I put it all the way down, that means it's like the easiest possible sieve. If I put a sieve all the way up, that means it's extremely hard. And then if I put it all the way left, that means that the sieve is very micro intensive. If I put it all the way right, that means the sieve is very macro intensive. So easy and hard is pretty self-explanatory. How easy the sieve is to play. Um, and then hard is like, you know, how difficult it is to win with that sieve, right? Now micro and macro, uh, some people don't know. Someone asked me in the chat, what is micro, what is macro? Uh, micro is how well you control your unit. So when you're microing, when a fight happens, you know, when you select your archers and you put archers on spearmen, you put spearmen on cavalry, or you're having siege battles and you're putting mangonels on ranged units, you're putting springles or mangonels, that's micro, okay? It's unit management in the fights. Uh, micro is not microing your villagers, putting them on economy, that's macro. Macro is uh, pretty much your economy in RTS games. You know, how well you, you macro means how well uh, you play economically, how well you spread out your uh, workers on correct resources and so on and so forth. So an example, a more macro sieve would be Chinese, a uh, more micro sieve would be something like French. So just because a sieve is macro, that doesn't mean there's no micro. Just because sieve is a micro sieve, that doesn't mean that it's, you know, no macro. So it just means that it's more micro focused. I hope I explained that, um, that well enough. With that being said, let's get started. Uh, I, I'm, I'm going to vote this, like do the voting on, on the sieves and stuff like that. Do the picks or what it is in my opinion. Not necessarily at the top level or gold level, but just in general trying to be somewhat objective about, about the sieves. But it's probably going to be more towards the top level. Because like example, Rus in low leagues is considered very difficult, but not so much in higher leagues. So I guess I'm just going to focus on uh, conquer-ish plus level all right so with that being said let's get started with the first one it is going to be china since i talked about it already and we're going to put china um we're going to put china right there i might adjust some of these by the way uh, depending how the other sieves go. I actually haven't pre-planned this. I haven't done it before. So I'm just kind of going to do it on the fly. So the reason why I'm putting China here is obviously it's a pretty macro uh, focused sieve. There's not a lot of micro in with China. Like even when you get to like mid game, late game, you're not really focusing on like, you know, microing your spearmen or zoo, you know, it's mostly just a moving. Now, if a sieve is like 50, 50, I would probably put it somewhere like here, which, you know, you guys get it by now. So I'd probably put China somewhere here. It's very, very, very uh, macro focused. Um, there is some positional stuff like with your siege, but overall it's it's pretty, pretty easy to do. Um, now on the other side, we're gonna go next with English. Now English, I would say is one of the more straightforward sieves. There's not some overcomplicated mechanics with English um, and it's very very focused on micro so with that being said I'm probably going to put English probably gonna put it right here like I do think that English is easy sieve but I don't think it's easy as sieve um, I think at lower levels English is probably the easiest sieve um, but at higher levels English becomes like even more micro intensive, but it becomes harder to play because um, if you make any mistakes with English at a high level and your units get caught, you just lose everything. Not hard, but not really. English has very simple mechanics. 
Like, I I'm talking about how difficult it is to play in terms of, like, like, micro and macro mechanics, right? So, for example, English micro is, you know, you need to do micro well to accomplish what you want. But you're usually just controlling spearmen and longbows, and that's it. Like, I think it's a lot harder to control French army than it is to control English army, for example. Next one we're going to be talking about is going to be Holy Roman Empire. And for Holy Roman Empire, I'll probably go like this, actually. I'll probably go something like this. Like, I think HRE is very, very macro-focused, but it's not, more, it's not harder to do than China. Um, actually, I'm going to go like this. Like, HRE has even less micro than China, to be fair. Like, China does have some stuff you got to do. HRE, not so much. You're mostly making men at arms, spearmen, horsemen, knights, and you're very focused on overwhelming your, um, your, your, your opponent, right? You don't usually you can make range units with HRE, but you don't usually make them. Um, so you're very much focused on like making a massive army and then just kind of denting in your opponent um, opponent completely. Um, but it is, like I said, uh, pretty pretty macro focused. I'm gonna put it like here actually. I don't think HRE is too hard. Let's go with that. The next civ we'll be talking about is going to be French. So since I did English, I might as well do French. And I'm just going to put it right, right there. So I do think French is in the you know more easy kind of zone um, for obvious reasons. Again, it has no um, hard macro mechanics. You know, you just... You get some deer, you get some gold, you get some wood, and you just produce units, right? There's no hidden macro mechanics with Imperial officials, and it is a very, very micro-intensive sieve, uh, just like English, because you're relying on doing early damage, attacking early, out microing your opponent, having good engages. Um, so even though I would say less so uh, focused on micro, the micro is harder. So I'm putting it right there. Um, next civ we'll be talking about uh, is going to be Rus. And I'm just going to put Rus right in the middle for now. I think Rus is, at the top level, it's definitely like more complicated, I would say, than, than French and English. But at the same time, I, I wouldn't put it like in micro or macro. You can play Rus as anything. That's why Rus is considered the best civ right now. Because you can play it whatever way you want. You can macro with it. You can you can micro with it. Um, there is a lot of micro, but there's a lot of macro as well. So I would maybe put it as a as a more more micro sim though. I don't think it's. I'm gonna put it like that. There's also like killing animals at the start and all that, which can get kind of tricky. But I would say it's still in the range of the more um, simpler simpler sims. The next one that I'll be talking about is going to be, um, let's go like that. The next one I'll be talking about is going to be Ottoman. Now, Ottoman, I think, does fall into a bit harder uh, sieve because unlike English, where you can just make spearmen and um, like longbows and just dent everything in, um, I do think that micring like different types of units at the same time is a lot harder because you need to keep your mechters alive, you need to have archers, you need to have usually spearmen, you need to raid with sipahis and sipahi also has an ability. You also need to, like it doesn't have as much macro as like China or HRE but you also need to get your military schools up so it's kind of more macro oriented in a way of you got to sort your resources properly because you don't have as much economy as some of the other civs so in my opinion it's it's kind of there i i do think that playing ottoman is harder than playing french um bruce french or or english and once you get going um like once you build up everything 
and you have all the military schools and all production i do think like maybe it becomes easier because a lot of your production is automated but you still have produced just like uh just like the other sieves so yeah um the next one we'll be talking about is mm, let's see let's do abbasid now i'm actually gonna have to put i'm gonna have to swap this like like that because uh, I realize we have some more macro sieves uh, the next one is gonna be Abbasid and I'm gonna put what do I think is harder China or Abbasid to micro with to macro with honestly I would probably say I would probably say Abbasid Because China has a lot of, like, China has a lot of, like, safety behind it. Like, your towers are stronger, your keeps are stronger, your TCs uh, are stronger. Uh, you have Barbican that makes it a lot easier to, like, get the second TC up. I feel like with Abbasid, you gotta cover your resources really well. And the fact that there's, like, fresh food stuffs, there's different wings, there's different wings you can go for, different upgrades... I would probably say it is a bit more complicated like china has a bit more micro with um uh what are they called um a bit more micro with imperial officials or not micro but economy management i guess and abbasid doesn't have that but another thing that's kind of uh, rough for abbasid is your macro has to be a lot more on point than the other sieves because your age up cannot be you cannot speed it up right so you need to hit age ups pretty well so that you know you don't have like three thousand food and, and 500 gold and you can age up to castle like you gotta do it pretty pretty well whereas china it's like you can move a bunch of workers uh put imperial fish or drop off once and then age up with 20 workers and you're in castle or imperial like that so um i'm probably gonna go with that Abbasid feels pretty easy to me, much easier than China. Oh yeah, that's because in lower leagues people don't attack. So as Abbasid, you just make five TCs and no one touches you. But I think at higher levels, it's a lot harder to get your economy going with Abbasid. And that's why Abbasid has been struggling in tournaments because you kind of have to play like almost perfect to not take any damage with Abbasid. Because all your villagers are exposed. All your resources are exposed. Like, China puts a Barbican, sometimes you protect, like, three resources with Barbican. There's nothing you can do, right? Um, so, I think Abbasid is a lot harder to, to get macro going. I'm not talking, by the way, about Imperial macro. Like, Imperial macro, all these sieves are easy. Like, you just have insane amounts of economy, just hold a button and make a lot of units. So, um, yeah. And also, I don't think Abbasid is very, very micro-heavy. Like... Um, these two sieves, I mean, macro sieves that are very far to the right, uh, usually mean that once you get the macro going, there's not a lot of micro going on, right? Like China, Abbasid, HRE, if they get good enough economy, they just kind of mow down everything. Uh, it's same with Abbasid, like, you're just making spearmen, uh, gulams, archers, crossbows, and you're just kind of overwhelming your opponent. You're not really out microing them necessarily. Um, the next sim we'll be talking about is is going to be Delhi. And I'll put it right here. Now, I, I don't think that Delhi is a, a hard sim by any means. I think Delhi is pretty kind of middle of the road. Um, like at the low level, people struggle with Delhi quite a lot because like you have to queue up upgrades. That's the explanation I always got. But at the top level, like once you age up, you just boop, 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 select everything and then you just have to literally micro your units and get food. Uh, the macro for Delhi uh, is pretty simple, I would say. Now that obviously changes in castle, which is why I'm not going to put it like all the way here. If this was only feudal, I would probably put Delhi here. But overall, I would say it's probably around here. Um, Macroing with Delhi in feudal is non-existent uh, because you put like 12 to 14 villagers on wood and then you put everything else on food and then you get sacred sites 
right? You don't need to get gold, you don't need to get stone, you don't need to do anything. Why is it more micro-intensive than Rus? Because Delhi depends on um, going out on the map and taking map objectives. Rus does not. Rus can just sit at home. And also Rus has stronger, um, stronger units and it has Kremlin. So you can kind of... Basically what I'm trying to say is... If you want to play Delhi, you need to micro. If you want to play Rus, you can micro, and microing helps a lot, but you don't need to. You can play Rus more defensively as well. Um, you know, like you, you can go too DC into castle with Rus, uh, with Delhi not so much. Like you have to be aggressive. Um, and the Civ benefits from that, I think, quite a bit. Obviously, like English being all the way to the left from from macro side, I mean you just put down farms and your food is secured. You don't gotta worry about it. So, yeah. Now, the next one we will do is going to be. This is a hard one. Where do I put Mongol? I think Mongol is pretty hard to play because. Nothing that Mongol has is really great, and the fact that you don't have walls makes it pretty hard to play as well. But I would say that you kind of have to be equally good micro and macro with Mongol to do well. Like, macro with Mongol is usually easy. Hmm, let me think about this. Like, macro with Mongol is usually pretty easy, but if you slip up, it, it's like kind of like a disaster, I feel like. I'm gonna go like this, actually. I do think Mongol is pretty hard to play in order to play it super efficient and to get the most out of your sieve. And the fact that you don't have walls uh, makes it a lot harder to play at any level, even at the top level. Um, it makes it a lot, a lot harder. I'm thinking if I should move it a bit more. I think this is fine. And then Malian. Now, I wonder where you guys would put this one. Uh, but I think maybe this comes as a surprise to everyone. But I actually think that Malian is by far the hardest Civ to play. In my opinion. Like, I'm doing pretty well with Malian. But the amount of stuff you have to do with Malian in order to win is pretty hard. And honestly, it's like, if I could put it here and here, I would. Because it's very hard to macro with Malians. Um, the re or let, me, let me explain this. So the reason why English is considered the easiest sieve is because uh, by the top players, uh, like macro wise, is because you don't need to go out on the map for food. That makes the sieve a lot easier. Um, and then early on, you only need wood and food, right? And some gold. So English is very hard to harass. You don't need to, um, you don't need to play um, on the map. You don't need to be like securing uh, spots on the map. You're just chilling. You move out with your big army and then it's very micro intensive, right? It's all about micro. Uh, on the other side, you have civs like French that have to go out on the map, but you go out on the map by attacking and securing your position. You have Rus that can be a little bit of both, right? You can camp at home with TCs, but you can also go on the map. Malians is like, uh, you, you actually have to have an army to secure your uh, pit mines. If you don't, you will lose them. But another very popular mechanic with Malians is going pro scouts to deny your opponent's deer. And pro scouts, I mean, if you've ever tried it, um, is very hard to pull off. Like, you have to micro really well, which is, in my opinion, Malian is like more macro than it is micro. But the reason why I put it in the middle, and I still don't know where to put it, is because there is a lot of micro with Malians. There is a lot of micro with, with your scouts early on, um, like doing the aggression. There's a lot of micro microing the pro scouts. There's a lot of micro with your archers. If you're going like heavy poison archers, or if you're going heavy sofa in castle, there's a lot of harassment um, that you can do. But the reason why it's so macro heavy uh, at the same time, which is why I said, like, if I could put it here and here, I would. Um, 
making cows and making pit mines and making army, they're all technically easy things to do. Like, I'll just make cows and you put them in the thing, you're done. But the problem with Malian is, is why I'm putting it around the middle is, I'll just put it here. Is it's so hard to choose when to do what, right? There's no, like, we still don't have a build order or any player that says, okay, you do pro scouts and then you do this and then you do that. You have to adjust quite a bit to what your opponent is doing. And you have to know when it's safe to add cows, when it's safe to potentially add another TC, when you should age up, when you should start to trade, because you also trade with Malians usually earlier than the other sieves because the amount of gold you're spending. So I do think uh, it's very hard to play. And on top of that, your units are pretty trash compared to the other sieves. Um, I mean, trash is in like, you know, they're less valuable. So you kind of need to not waste them too much. Now I'm trying to think if there's anything I would change. I'm not sure about Ottoman. Ottoman is a weird one. Cause he doesn't really have a lot of macro and it is micro focused, but there's a lot of, a lot of stuff to handle with your production. Uh, maybe HRE, we go like this. Now HRE, I do think it's like, it's in a way like Abbasid. Like I feel like HRE is in the same kind of area where it's like, if you set up your, your macro, HRE just pumps out units, but setting up that macro and not taking damage um, is the hard, is the hard part of it. Uh, send some friends to HRE. I mean, I don't think there's any, like, do you guys think there's any other sieve that's easy to macro? And again, I don't mean making units or Imperial, exclude Imperial completely. Like I'm talking feudal and, and castle. I don't think there's any other sieve that's necessarily um, as easy to, to do as HRE. Because HRE is kind of like English where you can sit in your base for a very long time. I think HRE is hard to micro perfectly, it's just not necessary. Well, yeah, micro with HRE is not really needed. Yeah, maybe maybe a Rus should be more macro or micro oriented. Maybe Ottoman should be on the middle. Maybe I like this more. Maybe like that? What do you guys think? Because I do agree Rus and, and French are kind of close. But I would probably say Rus is a... It's a bit harder. Just, just because of the killing animals and... and but maybe it's not. I don't fucking know, actually, no. Now I'm getting confused a little bit. Rus needs to be harder? Yeah, Rus is a pretty simple sieve. I don't think Rus needs to be harder. If anything, I'm thinking about putting it lower. I think securing resources with French is harder than it is with Rus. I do think that Rus is easier to secure your resources on the map with. Like, your wooden towers can take up to eight villagers. You have Kremlin. It's not really hard to get the second TC up. With French, I think it's a lot harder. And the fact that your villagers take a less time to produce means you need more food income. You need a lot of gold for your knights. You don't have passive gold, so you have less income to work with, but you need to produce similar amount of units. You have no gremlins to call. Um, mm, boom, I'm gonna go like that. I do think Rus is actually more macro heavy because of the second TC. French is still easier to macro. Mm, I don't know. I like it like this. I don't know. I, I think the more time I spend, the more time, the more like I'll, I'll change stuff around. I do think that Delhi is very micro dependent now that I think about it. Because you also need to be active on the map and you need to win your fights. Like you can't just mass an army and sit at home and wait. You kind of have to be out there. French and Rus can kind of do that, but you still got to be aggressive. So. I don't know. I, I don't think Delhi is very hard macro wise because all your stuff is automatic. Like upgrades are free and you just click them. You don't got to think, oh, do I get this upgrade or that upgrade? You just click everything and you chill. So that's it. That is my opinion, brothers. Maybe I change my opinion eventually, but this is from, again, from my personal experience uh, playing all these sieves. I think this is kind of how it goes. 
And I think this is also reflecting in the tournaments uh, quite a bit. Like, obviously Malians were OP, but they did receive a nerf. And I would expect them uh, to actually do decently well. But they're also, I think, harder to play than the other civs. Maybe. Maybe I'm wrong about them. I don't know. I don't fucking know. Uh, maybe they're, like, here. You know, who, who, gives, who gives a crap? But I do think that, like, Mongol, China, and Abbasid in general have done a lot worse in tournaments. Not because they're bad civs. I think, uh, well, Mongol, you know, is better than it was, but still not great. But I think China and Abbasid actually don't do too well in tournaments, even though I think they're both great civs. And that's because any mistake that you make can cost you a game very, very quickly. So that's it. If you're watching this on YouTube, thank you so much for watching. There it is. I hope this helped you in some way. And, you know, I do think that these are uh, more basic slash starting civs, like English, French, Rus, and HRE. Like, the exact positions don't matter. Like, whether it's here or here, who gives a fuck? You kind of get the point. Like, French, Rus, English, and HRE are the more basic civs. They are the easiest civs. I would say Ottoman and Delhi uh, are different kind of difficult and different kind of easy compared to the top and bottom civs. And I would say that Mongol Malian are both very unique in their way. And these are two very macro focused civs. So if you want civs that don't require a lot of micro, they're just very micro macro focused. These civs are the civs for you. Boom. Right there. If you're watching this on uh, YouTube, I want to thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know what you think. Check me out on Twitch. I'm probably live right now. Macroing and microing with all these civs. If you're watching on Twitch, let's keep going.